Hey everybody, it's Liam Pete here back on Anderton's TV, introducing another ESP video for our amazing ESP Takeover weekend. This next video is hosted by Ryan Dominguez. He is a master painter at the ESP Custom Shop in California, and he's going to talk about some of the crazy finishes yeah. that he's come up with on ESP guitars. Take it away, Ryan. <laughs> As master painter of ESP USA, uh, I do oversee every single guitar that is ordered, whether it be an Eclipse, a Horizon, TE2, V2, uh, overseeing the stain is correct, or putting the color on, clearing the guitars, doing the logos, anything along those lines that involves paintwork, I am involved in. I have a lot of freedom to kind of create new colors, new ideas for the shop. A lot of freedom to play around with different color ideas, do a lot of R&D, see what's out there. It's nice to be able to have the freedom to kind of create new colors and express new ideas. My favorite finish is the Lime Burst. The idea behind Lime Burst was I wanted something that was kind of like a really bright, almost neon kind of green, kind of 80s surf culture where everything was really bright, but still keep it a trans color so that you could see the beauty of the top, let the, let the wood speak for itself. We are kind of a metal geared company. And so keeping that in mind, trying to figure out a way to just kind of keep these things tough, but beautiful. I really like the Cranberry Sunburst as well. I think the purple with the pink just kind of really, really pops. Another favorite finish is any of the swirl finishes that we do. You know, the cat's eye marble finish is a fun one. The galaxy marble, I really like the way that one looks. So the story behind the Lynch Burst guitar I have been with ESP for going on 14 years now. It was my first job right out of guitar building school. It was a really exciting time for me because, you know, ESP endorsed so many of these artists that I kind of grew up listening to, Steph Carpenter, George Lynch. When I finally got the opportunity to just kind of create colors and, and play around with ideas, you know, one of my favorite models had been the George Lynch Tiger Burst. You know, I think the purples with the oranges and the yellows just kind of really pop. So I kind of wanted to apply that to a trans finish with a really nice top underneath it. And then of course, you know, what else are you gonna name it but the yeah. Lynch Burst, you know? First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the color in my cup and mix my color to spec. So I use the scale basically just to make sure that I have the correct ratios as far as paint, reducer, and base coat hardener. Once I have the color mixed up, I want to set my gun up to spray in the correct pattern, make sure that I have the right amount of paint coming out, not too much, not too little. Make sure my color saturation is good as I'm spraying. Just kind of paying attention to how fast the color's coming out, how much is going on to the wood. Kind of eyeballing it, making sure that you know my color is even in all areas, there's no lighter spots, darker spots. Once I have you know, my base color down for you know, the see-through black cherry sunburst, next step would be to add the burst. As I'm doing that, you know, I really want to make sure that I'm keeping the burst nice and even all the way around the body itself. I don't want some areas to be thicker, some areas to be thinner. And as I'm doing that, I want to make sure that I'm spraying away from the center of the guitar, just so I don't get any overspray and change the middle color of the guitar. I want to keep that black cherry nice and black cherry and not black. So it's really important the direction that I'm spraying as I'm spraying. About a couple minutes between coats. You just don't want to put too much on all at once because the color will sag and run as you're doing it if you put too much on too soon. Once I have my color on, I'll set it in the dry room, let it dry for you know a good three or four hours. And I'll go through, I'll pull the tape, I'll scrape the binding back. If there's binding that needs to be scraped back, then I'll go through and I'll put the logos on, put the serial number on the back of the headstock. Once it's been logoed, then it's time to, to clear it. Every time you do a blood spatter guitar, it's gonna be different than the last one you did. 
No two are ever going to be alike. It's not a graphic, these things are done by hand. You want to make sure that you're making it look like a real finish and not just like somebody's flinging paint at it, you know. It was amazing to be able to build those guitars for Kirk. You know, just building an instrument for somebody as influential as Kirk Hammett has been to the metal world is just, it's mind blowing, you know. It's a little surreal to think about all these people that I kind of grew up admiring playing a guitar that I've worked on, you know. I can't tell you how excited I was to see Paige Hamilton playing, you know, one of our Horizons for ESP Presents. It blew me away. It was just surreal, you know. If you're looking for a really high quality, high end instrument that looks unique and plays as good as it looks, then you really want to go with the ESP USA. There's nothing else like it out there.